EA Sports. It's in the game. NCAA Football 2004. Well, ladies and gentlemen, college football is back. It is finally back. And now we can finally play some football. Well, NCAA football here. Hey everybody, Coldar here, and welcome to NCAA Football 2004. I will be playing this game for... I don't know, I don't know how many weeks I'll be playing this for. Probably like, maybe... Eh, four weeks, possibly. Four or five weeks, I don't know. But I'll be playing the whole 2003 Ohio State season, which... Obviously, Ohio State back in 2003, they tried, but ultimately didn't win the national championship that year. So, obviously, I have to win again as, you know, Ohio State. So, yeah. So, press the start button. Then I need to switch profiles. Because I need my Let's Play profile. And it's gotta be somewhere around here. Probably... There we go. Yeah, I'll replace that one. Alright, load successful. I just gotta make sure my trophy room is clear, yeah. Move all those trophies. A little fun fact about, um, this game. Uh, before this whole COPPA thing, this was my current Let's Play, and, uh, unfortunately, I had, like, games 1 through 12 all recorded. Well, I had all of them recorded and then uploaded. I was about to record... I was about to upload, like, the final, like, the almost final three videos until I heard about Kappa and then I deleted everything off my channel. Thus, I'm restarting stuff, so... Yeah. And what a better way to restart your channel with playing the game that you, uh, kind of, um... Almost completed. And stuff, so... Starting a new dynasty. I'm gonna be Ohio State. I don't want to add any schools. And I'm gonna be Jim Trestle. I can spell his name right. Oh, I gotta see if I'm spelling his last name right. Okay, so I got that part right, and then... There we go. Yep, and this looks like him, and... We can get on with the game. So, let's begin our dynasty. And what better way... To start our dynasty... Than with... Looking at our opponents, so we have number 14 Washington, we have San Diego State, we have NC State, we have Bowling Green, then we have Northwestern, then Wisconsin, then Iowa, then Indiana, Penn State, then we got Michigan State, Purdue, and then that team up north. So yeah, we got a lot of good games to play. A lot of good football teams to play. So you can say this schedule is pretty tough. But you know, I'm gonna win. I'm gonna win, guys. And before we start uh, this game, I gotta make sure these settings are right. So what I'm gonna do is on varsity. Injuries, I'm gonna keep off. Game fatigue on. Campus challenge on. 
Then the AI, yep, everything's all good there, right? I don't need run assist. Catch assist? Probably. I don't think I need these assists on. Then penalties are all on. Actually, I think I may need, like, pass assist on. Because it shows me who's open and who's not. Uh, penalties are on. And easy play on. Play notification off. Kick assist is on. Yep. It's just kick and catch assist I want to leave off. And might as well save the changes. Because, you know, why not? Although, I think this might save my dynasty as well. Yeah, it's saving the dynasty. Of course, it takes a long time to save a dynasty, because it's like 2,000 kilobytes, I think. Or megabytes, I don't know. All I know is that it's a very big file size. And it's very annoying. Ugh, can this saving stop? Like, it's very annoying. There we go, finally. Alright, so... Everything's all good. Now we're gonna play the week. And we're just gonna simulate through week one because we're not in week one. And we finally begin some football. So here we go. Number 14, Washington versus number one, Ohio State. So yeah, uh, let's uh, let's play the game. Wait, did I hit play? Yeah. And of course, everything is simulated. So blah blah blah. Whatever. Don't really care because we're the number one team in in the country. Because we're the defending national champions. And, yep, everything seems good, so let's start the season. <clears throat> oh, and one more thing. Uh, Maurice Claret, since he got dismissed from the team in 2003, I will not be using him. Because, well, he wasn't around for 2003, so... Oh, well. But don't worry, I got Lydell Ross and... And, um, Maurice Hall, so we're all good. Yeah. The early season continues. Hi again, everybody, and welcome. I'm Brad Nestler with Kirk Herbstreit and Lee Corso. And we're ready to bring you what appears to be another fantastic college gridiron matchup. The Buckeyes are very confident coming into this one. They are definitely the favorites in my book, Kirk. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I think you're exactly right about this. 
Ohio State has one of the better running attacks in college football and a very good running back. Lee, this will be a great opportunity here for fans to get a chance to see him run the football and lead his team to a victory. And another thing, Washington is going to get manhandled up front in this one. That offensive line is just too big, too talented, and too good. And they're going to have a huge game opening up those holes for the running backs. This one could get ugly. Well, thanks, guys, and it looks like we're ready for the coin toss. All right, Washington picked heads, and we've won the toss. We're going to kick off, which means we'll get the ball in the second half. All right, let's get her started, ladies and gentlemen. Ohio State has the ball teed up, and we're ready for kickoff. Here we go. Kicks it deep. And wow, Mike Nugent kicked that one far. Sails out of the end zone for a and it's a touchback. Excellent. All right, so defense going with Matt Robert. There's number 93, Will Smith. Oh, wow, wow. He's taken down. Gain of two. It's second down and eight. Ball on their own 22. The Huskies line up with two tight ends. All right, second and eight. Here we go. Drop back and back. Under pressure. And it's picked off by number four. And he's gone. Touchdown, Ohio State. Awesome. That interception deserves another look. That was an awesome pick by number four, Will Allen. Will Allen took that to the house. And now for the field goal attempt. Well, the extra point attempt, and it is good. All right. So we're starting out with an with a easy touchdown. 30 seconds into the game, we get a touchdown on defense. And it looks like, I believe, Washington will kneel this. Yep. Let's go back to the 4-4 Mad Robber. I like that play. That play is awesome. One man back for you. They go with a toss. And taken down. By number 46. Don't know who 46 is, but. I'm pretty sure I'll find him. It's second down now. I'm trying to look at this roster here. Ball on the 17 yard line. The Husky. Oh, Fred. Pag. Pagged. Pagged. Fred Pagged Jr. His last name is very difficult to announce. Ooh. And 75 stops him. That's Simon Frazier. And did I just see North Texas beat Oklahoma? Did that did that update just say Oklahoma lost to North Texas? Cause it, cause if that's true. That's friggin' funny. That is so funny. I laugh. Ha ha ha. Third and five for the Huskies. And they're blitzed and they are sacked by AJ Hawk, number 47. Just destroys them. And it's fourth and 22. And they're gonna kick off. We'll punt it away. Chris Gamble, number seven, is back deep to return. Number ten gets it off. And here's Chris Gamble. Gamble takes it and he spin moves and he's moving and he's all inside the 35. Pretty good run by Chris Gamble. First and ten. Oh shoot. Timeout. The Buckeyes are gonna take a timeout, and they'll have two remaining. Yeah, timeout. I need I need a big timeout because I gotta go to my in-game strategy and go to my halfbacks and put him there and there. Okay, so 
There we go. So Lydell Ross will be the running back here. It's first and ten. So here we go. First and ten. Lydell Ross is the running back. And Lydell Ross is not gonna get anywhere further. And the defense just swarmed over him on that one. Yeah, they were able to penetrate the offensive line and get to the running back before that play even had a chance. Okay, let's go with slants. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 32 yard line. So Chris Gamble, I got Michael Jenkins, and I got I believe Ben Hartsock. Yep. He drops back. Got the play off in time, looking, and I got a hit, and it's incomplete. They got some good pressure. And let's, you know what? Let's hurry up to the line. Let's, let's just do that. Throws it to Chris Gamble, and he's caught it for a first down. Hands it off to Lydell Ross and nowhere. He gains a couple of yards on a carry. And we're gonna hurry up to the line, same play here. And there's a hole open, and Lydell Ross runs in for the touchdown. Awesome. And now time for the extra point. Mike Nugent to attempt this extra point. Kick is up, and it's good. Less than two to go in our first quarter of play. The score, Ohio State 14, Washington nothing. Washington is getting shut out by Ohio State. This is beautiful. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. Good kick by Nugent here. Number 10, fields it in the end zone. And they kneel it down. Good job of shutting down this offense the last time they had the ball. The offense was not clicking at all. Let's see if they're back. Let's go back to the mad robber. They'll set up shot at the 20-yard line. Number 24 is the single setback. They go with a toss. He's hit and got away. And down he goes. And nowhere to go. Gain of about a yard on the halfback toss. Number five told him to sit down. I think that was number five, wasn't it? I don't know. It's second down and nine to go. Ball on their own 21. Washington comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. Pass. Under heavy pressure. Oh and wow. Here he goes. And he's taken down. And a nice catch coming out of the backfield. Yeah, this is a good job of the quarterback reading the coverage downfield and realizing he had to dump the ball to the running back for the big game. Number 24 alone in the backfield. Oh geez, my dude and fell down. Couldn't get anything out of that. Their running backs getting tired. Ball on the 31 yard line. They should send him out for a play. Number 24 is the deep back as they line up in the eye. Oh, and he gets sacked by number five, the middle line. Looks like he ran into a brick wall on that play. Yep, can't find a number five on this. Roster. 13 to go. This is the fifth play of this drive. Washington comes out with two tight ends. He drops back. Here comes the pressure. Oh boy. And he's taken down. That was great. And they convert the third down with a long pass play. You're right, Brad. And that was a long pass play. As a coach, you gotta appreciate it when your players come out and perform like these kids are doing right now. What happened to the defense there, Coach? Well, the defense is coming on the blitz here, as you can see. But they get held up a little. And that gives the quarterback just enough time to find the open receiver. First and ten. And this is the sixth play of the drive. 
And they're going to run one more play, and he's sacked by number 54, Tim Anderson. And we've come to the end of the first quarter with the score, Ohio State 14, Washington nothing. Awesome. We're leading 14 to 0 at the end of the first. This is the seventh play of this drive. Ohio State may have trouble covering the five wide receivers. And he's sacked again. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Man, that was beautiful. Can we get a replay? Nope. Oh, well. The offense faces another third down here as they line up. Third and 25 for the Huskies. The Huskies line up with four wideouts. And sacked once again. AJ Hawk out of nowhere. And they're really, I mean, really fast too. Well, this speed is difficult to defend because you have to try to keep them all balanced so they can't use their quickness. And the punt team will come out. It's fourth down. Number 10 punts it and he didn't get much distance on it. Oh, uh, great. And I'm going to have to Number juke here. And wow, where is the speed? I thought there was a speed button. I thought the, yeah, it like he had a seam there, but a good job I thought the, the X button made there. you go fast. It must be a glitch and I picked the wrong play. Wait, no, no hot route. Ohio State Audible. Up in a double tight set. Keep it on the ground with the oh boy, back. run play, crap. He's gobbled up in the backfield. And the tailback stopped behind the line on the draw. Well, that's great. Yeah, let's go stretch. Second and long coming up here. Ball on the 38-yard line. Number six. All right, so line. we're going to stretch this one out. Back to pass. So let's go. He's going to throw to Michael Jenkins, and he's caught it. He's all the way down to the 28. They get a nice game there. Yeah, nice pass play. You know what, Kirk? I think that defense kind of underestimated the speed of that receiver that time. Yes, very good option. Let's go halfback screen. It'll be interesting to see how they adjust here. First and 10. Ball on the 28. Ohio State comes to the line with three wide. Look. I'm going to throw to Michael Jenkins again. He's got it. And he's down inside the five. First and goal. Lionel Ross, he picks up a few yards, and we're going to hurry up to the line. Hurry up to the line. Hurry up to the line. And touchdown, Ohio State. Kirk, that was his second touchdown of the day. What else can we expect from him? Second touchdown for Lydell Ross. He looks like he's really come to play here in the first half. Kick is up. And it's good. Awesome. Three minutes to go in the second quarter. And the score, Ohio State 21. Washington, nothing. Number 85, ready to kick. Number three, and number 10, back deep to return. Number three, fields it in the end zone. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. Let's go to the mad robber again. At the 20. Washington sets up with four receivers. He drops back. Under pressure. Throws short. Incomplete pass. What happened there, Kurt? Well, as a quarterback, you usually want to put the ball in front of the receiver so he can catch it in stride. Here he just put it a little bit too far in front. They come out with four linebackers. This tackle. He oh, he fumbled! And they recovered. Great. The offense almost gave it away. Holding on to the ball is rule number one when it comes to running the football. That was wonderful. There was a fumble, and we didn't recover it. That's not right. And they get stopped. Will Smith with a stop. Yes. But you got to give the defense credit. They really stepped it up. 
And now Chris Gamble will be back deep to return. So they're set to punt this one away. Number 10 gets it off. Number 7 fields it at the 41. He spins around. Shakes off Ooh, the tackle. Shaked off a tackle. Chris Gamble. He almost took that almost to the 30-yard line. Executed there, wasn't it, Coach? Yo, Kirk, did you see the lane they created there? Was that a nice job or what? They'll go to work at the 32. High formation here. Looking. Going to throw it to Drew Carter, and he's caught it. And he's inside the 10. And, man, Craig Krenzel's on fire today. He is perfect in throwing the football. I think. I don't know. Looking. Going to throw it. It's incomplete. Intended for Brandon Joe, the fullback. Yeah, he's yeah, and Craig Krenzel's not perfect. He's four for six. But that's fine. He had a bit of a consecutive receptions or, or whatever. Looking gonna throw to Brandon Joe again. Oh no wait, that was Lydell Ross. And again they go to the same pass play. How about this, coach? Two reasons why I like this call. First of all, let's go with assault here in the shotgun formation. And secondly, you're telling the defense that you don't care what they do, you're going to run your... Going to throw him Michael yeah, Jenkins, it's incomplete. Pass. I don't know if they're going to run that play again here. And we're going to go for a field goal. This will be a... Number 85, into attempt, a short field goal. 19-yard field goal attempt. Kick is up, and it is good. All right. 19-yard field goal achieved. And they're going to take it out of their own end zone. Not a whole lot of success their last time out. All right, there you go to the 21. Let's go back to the 4-4 and hit him with that mad robber. Washington lines up in a double tight set. He drops back. Here they come. Down the middle. Got it. And he's taken down at the 30. The Huskies call for a timeout. And Washington calls their first timeout. Because they want points. They want to score. Number three comes to the line with three wide. Drops back and pass. He's in trouble. His receiver has it. And down he goes. And Herbie, that was a good-looking throw. Yeah, and what impresses me is the composure of this young quarterback. He made a great read, saw the open receiver, and delivered an almost perfect strike. Good-looking play. Ohio State may have trouble covering the five wide receivers on the field as they come out with 44 defense. And he's taken down. Washington takes a timeout, and they'll have one timeout left. Okay, let's go with a 5-2 monster three. Second and two coming up here. Ball on the 47-yard line. Ace backfield. They'll throw again. Defense hasn't stopped him yet. He catches another. They just couldn't get to the quarterback in time. That's one of the things that can happen if a defense. And they're going to hurry up to the line again. The offense will have favorable matchups. Or for the first time, I don't know. I don't know. It's not easy. To get the ball I don't remember a whole lot of stuff. Here we go. Back to pass. Looking pressure. back to pass, they throw, it's incomplete. That stops the clock. That one way too far out in front. You know what, guys? That's what I refer to as a radio ball. You can hear it. Let's go with 3-4. And if the receiver can't see it, then he's not going to catch it. Cover 2 max. Second and 10. This is the sixth play of this drive. Number 24 lines up in the deep back. I formation. He drops back. Steps up in the pocket. Complete. And down he goes. 
And he's, they're short yeah, and two yards. Practice the other day over and over again. And as a coach, you like it when all that practice pays off. And your players Very up to the line, the throws, it's caught, and... Good job. and he's taken down. Oh, there's a flag on the play. This one might be coming back, folks. So Ooh. Ah, oh, face mask on us. What? On Gamble? What? What was Chris Gamble doing? He knows he can't grab a guy's face mask. Besides, I couldn't see him. Washington comes out with five receivers. So I couldn't really tell what they were doing. So he tried to find his man in the end zone. Yeah, Chris Gamble defending him with multiple Buckeyes there. Second and ten. Second and ten. Ball on the twenty-two. The Huskies have five receivers on this play. Drops back to pass. Across the middle. And it's almost intercepted by number five. And it looks like they're going to go for a field goal. It's third down and ten. Ball on the twenty-two yard line. I just hit return right. Hold on, I'm, I'm calling a timeout. So special teams, all-out block. Third and ten. Ball on the twenty-two. They'll line it up for the field goal. He gets it up. Kick is up, and it is and good. It and there will be one second left here. So let's see Washington what I can do in this one second. Kicks it off. Number Maurice Hall is returning the kickoff, and he's down at the inside the 20. So yeah, I'm leading 24 to 3 at the half. And yep, North Texas upset Oklahoma. Wow. That's crazy. But anyways, let's resume the game. And we get the ball in the second half. Ha ha. Washington will be kicking off. And we only had six half. rushing yards. Wow. That's bad. But hey, at least our passing game's good. Maurice Hall to return this kickoff. And Maurice Hall! Maurice Hall! Oh my goodness! You can forget about this one! He's going all the way! Touchdown, Ohio State! Maurice Hall just... He just smoked the Huskies out of here. That was beautiful. Can we see a replay? Let's look at this. That was beautiful. He was gone. Amazing. And now Mike Nugent to attempt the extra point. So we scored on special teams, defense, and on offense. So that's the triple crown. A touchdown on all sides of the ball. Offense, defense, and special teams. That's pretty epic. And here comes number 10 for the Huskies, and he gets destroyed by the Buckeye kicking team. Let's go with the 3-4, Thunder 2. They'll get the ball here at the 19. Number three has five receivers lined up here. And oh, he got sacked by Will Smith. Now since that worked, let's go back to the Mad Robber. The 4-4 Mad Robber. Ball on the 18. Defense lines up with eight men in the box. On the ground with the tailback. And taken down by number 46. 
Fred Paget Jr. Third down and ten coming up. Ball on their own 19. Washington sets up with four receivers. Back to pass. Here comes the pressure. Here comes the pressure, and it's batted down by Chris Gamble. Appreciates that yo. Great job of mixing up the coverage and putting his players in a spot to make a play. And they're smart enough to know the situation and to just knock it down. And they're ready to punt this one away. All right, Chris Gamble's back deep to return. Number ten gets it off. It's a pretty nice kick. Number seven fields at the forty-four. And that was a bad spin move. I wanted to spin move the other way. But it didn't work. Let's go I formation. Vertical. Let's go vertical. They're on the right side of the 50 as they start this drive. I formation here. They'll throw on first down. Looks. Oh, um, Krenzel broke a tackle, and Gamble caught it. Holy crap, that was amazing. Let's go back to the I formation in the slot formation. Either way you look at it, it's good balance. Number 30 is the deep back as they line up in the eye. Looking. Looking. He rolls left. I'm gonna throw to Brandon Joe, the fullback, and it's incomplete. He had it, but he couldn't hang on to it. You know, there's really no excuse for that either. He needs to make that catch, coach. I agree. 100. Going with audible. The Buckeye line up in an I formation. And we're lined up in I don't know what formation. Can we go audible? There we go. That seems right. Oh no, that doesn't seem right. I thought it was a pass play, but thought it was a pass play. Big setback and, a big and I play. stepped out of bounds. Great. Stretch it. Here's a third and long situation. Ball on the 35 yard line. Number 30 lines up in the deep back. I formation. He drops back. He's looking. He I'm going to throw to Drew Carter, and it's and it incomplete because I chose him. Why did I, why I switch to him? I don't know. Okay, so we're at. 35 yard line. Let's go for a field goal. This will be a 45 yard field goal attempt by Mike Nugent. And this will be a very long field goal attempt. Uh, I don't think I got it. I think I needed more power. Nope. That was enough power. Awesome. Oh, wait, that was a 50 plus yarder? Huh? Okay. I'll take it. Besides, Mike Nugent's known for making those 50-yard field goals. And that was pretty deep. Ohio State to kick this one off. Kicks it off. Another beauty. Number two, and they're going to take a knee. The offense gets ready to start a new drive as they just couldn't get anything going on their last possession. <clears throat> All right, first and ten, ball on the 25-yard line, I believe. Nope, on the 20-yard line. They go with the option. They're gonna option it, fake it, and up they didn't, and oh, oh no, 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 no. He's all the way down to the 42. That's just great. Well, let's go back to the Mad Robber and uh, not do that again. They keep it on the ground with a tailback, and he's taken down at the 40-yard line. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. It's third down and eight to go. 
Ball on the 40. Number three with four wide receivers. He's under some heat. And sacked. And Jim Trestle's loving it. I believe that was, in fact, A.J. Hawk again. He's been everywhere this game. Now, Chris Campbell will be back to return, averaging 15.2 yards a punt return. He gets it away. Now let's see if we can make some magic here. Nope. Just about ready to call the first play of this drive. They were able to pick up a field goal on their last possession. Let's go with halfback tackle. At the 18. Number 30 is the deep back. Giving it to Lydell Ross. Uh, I spin moved it. Ooh, a nice spin move there. We're inside the 30. Incredible effort there running the football by this guy. First and 10. Ball on the 35 yard line. Ohio State sets up in the eye. All right, we're looking. I'm going to throw to Michael Jenkins, but it, I got sacked. All right, let's try this again. Everyone hurry up to the line. Hurry up to the line. Ready, set, hut. Hut. Oh, almost got sacked again, and I got picked off. Nah, we don't need to look at that. That was crap. Also, another thing I forgot to mention. If Craig Krenzel sucks, so he starts to suck, I'm going to... What's it called? Oh yeah, He'll replace him with end. Troy Smith. And he's taken down at the 23. They gained five yards there. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 23 yard line. Because Troy Smith is actually on the roster. And I'm not going to use Scott McMullen. Why? Because... I don't know, he's just not that good of a quarterback. I like Troy Smith better than it's Scott McMullen. Ball on the 23. Number 24 lines up in the deep back. I formation. They'll run the option. He lateral. And he's taken down. He didn't get there. And the option play works for good yardage. What? Was an area coming into this game. I thought he didn't get that. Converting on third downs. Yeah, converting on third downs and, and that's the end of the third quarter. I'm leading 34 to 3. Quarter, this one is well in hand. With the score, Ohio State 34, Washington 3. It's first and 10. Ball on the 18. The Huskies line up in an I formation. Here's the give. And down he goes. He plows ahead for a two-yard gain. Second and eight coming up here. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. They'll use a 4-4 defense here. And he's taken down. The fullback picks up about three yards on that carry. So another third down upcoming for the offense. Number 24, the lone back. Here they come. And it's caught. And down he goes. Nowhere to go. Oh, they're going to go for it on fourth down. Okay. I see you guys there. Not many options here. They have to go for it. He's looking down the middle. And they score a touchdown. Still playing hard out there. That was a well drawn up play for the wideout. And they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. And 
he hits the PAT. So with less than four minutes to go here in the fourth quarter, our score, Ohio State. Oh, timeout. They're going for an onside. The defense calls a timeout, and they'll have two remaining. And it looks like they're going to try an onside kick here. With the onside kick. And recovered by Brandon Joe of Ohio State. Yeah, all they need to do now is run the ball and don't turn it over. <laughs> and they'll look to capitalize on a good field position here. First and ten. Looking. I'm going to go throw to Michael Jenkins, but I got sacked. Somebody came free on that one. Yeah, the linebacker shot through and nobody picked him up. He was all over him, Kirk. He wasn't letting that quarterback get away. Drops back to pass. Here comes the pressure. He steps up. I'm going to throw deep to Michael Jenkins, and it's batted, and it's caught by Lydell Ross. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Thought it was an incomplete pass, but it turned into a complete pass. Now let's go halfback tackle this. Hey Kirk, that's probably what you did playing in the backyard, right? But you broke a lot of windows. Gets past the tackler. And he's taken down at the 14 yard line. And there's a flag on the play. And they threw a flag on that play. Let's see what the call is. Face mask on the defense. I will accept the penalty. That'll move him forward. And they're loving it. Anytime you can get three yards, you'll take it. Now let's let's go quick strike. The Buckeye line up in a goal line formation. He drops back. Look. Gonna throw it to number eighty. Touchdown, Ohio State. Ryan Hamby with the touchdown. That touchdown pass we're seeing again. Ah, you betcha. He runs a good clean route there, and the quarterback throws it to him with a lot of confidence. Good touchdown. Actually, I want to take a timeout on this one. Are going to take a timeout, and they'll have one timeout left. Yeah, you know what? Just going for the field goal. Why not? Psych, I'm not. <laughs> Surprise, I'm not going for a field goal. Just watch, this is going to be a success. The kick is, no, it's a and Hamby catches it for the two point conversion. So under three minutes to go in the fourth yeah, I like to risk it sometimes. And look, it paid off. Now I'm winning 42 to 10. So what does that say? It says I'm really good at football. Number three fields it in the end zone. Hardly tough sledding for this offense that last drive as they took it in for six. I well, look no further than the guys up front. They created some huge holes to run through. Mad robber. They'll start this drive at the 20-yard line. Number 24 lines up in the deep back. Eye formation. And fumble! And the Buckeyes recover it! Not much hope now. That fumble was not what they needed. They're already losing big. Steve. No, it's not Steve. Fred Packett Jr. I don't know how to say his name. The 46, number 46. They're on the right side of the 50 as they start this drive. So I'm just going to I'm just going to call him Fred P Jr. The Buckeye. Line up in an eye formation. So hopefully you guys will like that name. Uh, what in the world he had it in his hands and then he dropped it. What was that? Second and 10. Ball on the 20 yard line. Number 30 is the deep back as they line up in the eye. He gets Throws, it's incomplete. Trying to get Michael Jenkins the ball. But they're not letting me. So let's go slanted. Ugh, yeesh. 
Craig Krenzel with below 50% completion rate. Throwing to Michael Jenkins this time, and he's got it! Touchdown, Michael Jenkins! And now to go for the field goal. I mean, the extra point. And the extra point is good. So under three minutes to go in the fourth quarter, and the score is Ohio State 49, Washington 10. Number 85 is lined up to kick this one off. Number five and number 28 set to return. Number five fields it in the end zone. Breaks one. The run game was a big factor in this offense's last drive when they got down the field for a touchdown. They'll take over at the 20. Washington in a four wide set drops back to pass throws this one out to the throws and it's incomplete it's second down and ten to go ball on the 20 yard line the husky with four receivers he drops back Under heavy and he sacked by A.J. Hawk. That was his fourth sack of the game, and the offensive line is left once again scratching their heads. Ohio State may have trouble covering the five wide receivers on the field as they come out the 44 defense. Back to pass. And sacked again, A.J. Hawk. Fifth sack of the day. Two minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. Number seven, awaiting the return. Number ten, gets it off. Number seven, takes it. And, oh, gamble, we're, no, oh, no, wow. Thanks to some nice passing on the last drive, the offense was able to take it down the field for six. Great play calling to Let's go slants again. The question is, can they do it again? Number 30 lines up in the deep back. I formation. He's looking. looking. Gonna take a risk with Chris Gamble. And he's. And he can't make the nope. The clock will stop with that incompletion. Boy, I don't understand that strategy at all. With the lead late in the game, you just need to run the football. That's not a smart decision. Number 30 is the deep back. Yeah, I'm trying to run up the score. Nope. There goes Lydell Ross. He is gone. Touchdown, Ohio State. See, I like running up the score. It's fun. Especially against a Pac-10 opponent. And he hits the PAT. So it's just Excellent. over a minute to go here in the fourth quarter. Our score, Ohio State 56, Washington 10. Kicks it off. Number five, fields it at the two. And tackle. for this offense on their last drive as they were forced into a three and out. Boy, oh boy, they had nothing going last time. And maybe, Scooter, you need to get out there and show them what you're made of. Somebody and Lionel Ross is the player of the game for Ohio State. They'll give it off here. And a fumble recovered by Ohio State, and that's going to be the game. Well, Lutty, well, Lutty, well, Lutty. Washington is crumbling now. And nothing good there. And not too much there on that run. Not too much, but the key here is try to milk as much time as possible. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. And down he goes at the 16 yard line. Seven yard play. It's third down and two to go. Ball on the 16-yard line. Single set backfield. Hand off up the middle. He's gobbled and up nothing the there. Great. Great job by the defensive lineman. You know what? Might as well go for a field goal to get 59 points. 
I mean, what else? What else could happen today? All right, just letting the clock run down a little bit. Uh, okay, time to go. And psych, I'm going for it, and I failed. Well, it looks like they'll turn it over after going for it on fourth down. That was the wrong call, in my opinion. A field goal would have been huge. And of course, Kirk Herbstreit's friggin' saying I shouldn't have gone for it. Who cares, Kirk? I like to go for it. He's under pressure. His receiver has And are, are you kidding me? Are you guys kidding me? Are we literally? Thank you. Well, I hope they're not calling timeout because they know they lost. Yeah, this is an area where the coach had felt they might have some Four, three, two, one. They don't get a playoff. Game over. Ohio State wins. Let's go. And this blowout is finally over. Any final thoughts on this one, Coach? I can't say enough about this performance. Ohio State looked like a team on a mission to destroy anything and everything that got in their way. Brad, this is a really good-looking football team. Folks, thanks for tuning into our game. Our final score, Ohio State 56, Washington 10. For Lee Corso, Kirk Herbstreit, and everyone at EA Sports, I'm Brad Nessler saying goodbye and see you next time. All right. And there you go. Final score, 56 to 10, Ohio State. We are ending the game. So we shut out the number 14 ranked team in the country in good fashion. Because I like that. I like that. Eh, I'll save it later. Yeah. Simulate through week two. And we will end it here. Well, I'll end it here. So, yeah. Next time on NCAA Football 2004, we'll be playing against San Diego State. And hopefully continue to be undefeated. So, yeah. So, with that, guys, I'd like to thank you all for watching this brand new episode of NCAA Football 2004. If you enjoyed it, smack a like on it. Subscribe if you're new to this channel. Check out my other videos I've uploaded to my channel. And I shall see you guys next time for more NCAA Football 2004. So with that, I will see you guys later.